Sama. Sama. Sofa. Sonic. Super. Sofa. Sonic. Sofa. Sonic. Sonic. Guys, I hope you're keeping very well. I'm Andrew Clark. I'm a chef in London. And for this weekend, during the course of Super Sonic's Sofa Sonic Festival, uh, I'm going to be cooking three plant-based dishes, or sofa snacks if you will, uh, some very simple uh, vegan dishes that you can enjoy while you watch all the content across the weekend. Um, today's one, I'm going to do a chickpea pancake, uh, which is uh, completely gluten-free, vegan. Uh, in, in France, they call it soccer, um, and in Italy, they call it farinata. And farinata is quite often fermented, so you'll leave the batter overnight. So when you're familiar with this recipe, perhaps you can give that a go as well. But we're keeping it simple. We're just going to make a very quick batter. Uh, we'll rest it for about 15 minutes. And uh, this is something, yeah, you can knock up within half an hour, all this. I'm going to do it in 10 minutes. Um, firstly, just get your oven hot. You're going to need to roast some tomatoes. Um, I've got these big plum tomatoes. You could use cherry tomatoes if you want, um, any of your favorite kind. You can even use, I mean, if you haven't got time, you can even use sun-dried tomatoes or semi-dried, dehydrated, whatever you want. Once you're familiar with this batter recipe, then you can make, uh, you can pretty much make any topping that you want on it or eat it simply as it is. All right, let's roast the tomatoes first. Um, I am just going to cut these in half and I like to take out the little core bit, just the top bit, it's nasty. So let's just get that out. It always bothers me when people don't take this out, one of my little pet hates. And then we'll put it, we'll get a small tray, pop them on the tray. Season them well, salt, a little bit of pepper, some olive oil, and I always like just a splash of vinegar, just a splash, not much. You could do more, you could put herbs on there, garlic and stuff, but I'm just going to keep these really simple. I know these tomatoes have plenty of flavour. And we'll just roast these for about half an hour at 180 to 200 degrees. Tomatoes that have a lot of moisture, they're gonna need a little bit longer. If you've got all day to do it, do them nice and slow in a really slow oven and you know, for an, a couple of hours, delicious. But these are gonna go in for about, I think about 20 minutes for about 180, okay? Okay, next up is the batter and we need about 15 minutes for this to rest so equal quantities of uh, chickpea flour or gram flour let's say 100 grams for this one uh, equal quantities of flour to water there's a hundred and there's a hundred and just for this I want a splash of olive oil A little bit of salt, get that in there. And I'm just gonna make this a bit special. I've got some nigella seeds or black onion seeds. It has a really nice aromatic flavor about it. So I'm gonna put kind of a pinch of that in there. You can leave it out, you can put whatever you want. Um, but I do say, try this, it's, it's really nice. Then we'll give it a really good mix and rest it up in the fridge for about 15 minutes, okay? It's not like the usual flour. It, um, it doesn't have any gluten really, so it does need to rest or it won't work. Into the fridge. So here we are out the fridge. It's, uh, the texture changes slightly. It's nice and creamy. And I don't know if you can see that. Probably not without me spilling it. But anyway, it's thick, it's creamy. And it's kind of, it's like a very thick custard. So, let's go over to the stoves and let's cook this off. 
Okay, we're looking for a very hot pan. I've just put a little bit of oil in it. And let this, let this mixture fall into the middle under its own body weight. So it doesn't need to go right to the sides of the pan. So it's gonna be a bit like a blini. It's gotta have some thickness about it. We'll just let that cook for a, uh, a couple of minutes each side. I've just given it a flip, which you didn't get to see it, but I can assure you it was textbook, a textbook flip. Okay, so the pancake, it really doesn't take too long. I just turned the temperature down a little bit while it was cooking to a kind of medium high heat. But important, you start with a very high pan. Um, crispy on both sides, kind of fluffy in the middle, or soft in the middle. But there we go, it looks like one of those uh, scotch pancakes. So I'm gonna just cut this into little wedges, pizza-like wedges. And we'll put them on our plate. And this is a great bread just to have like that, but we're not gonna make it that simple. There's plenty of good um, uh, dairy, uh, plant-based dairy products on the market at the moment, and I particularly like this uh, creme fraiche. So if we gave that a dollop on each one, and go super rustic with this. There we go, we've got the tomatoes from the oven and they're nice and roasted. These have cooled down just a tad, which is fine. And I'm just gonna chop them up into kind of little pieces as well. You can do as small as you want. If you had baby tomatoes, they might be quite nice as individual pieces. But let's put these on here. Wow, delicious. Ah. Look at that, amazing. And then finally, just some mixed herbs. And I'm just gonna put like some coriander, some parsley, and a little bit of basil on, and tear them up. But that's it. Lovely, it's like a massive 3D pizza. A Little bit more olive oil over the top. And there you go, that's a soccer bread with some roasted tomatoes, fresh herbs, and a plant-based creme fraiche. Enjoy, guys.